Hey everybody, Solar Warlock coming to you guys with part 6 of Super Mario Galaxy from the Nintendo Switch. The only game where we get to spin kick a, or spin punch a Black Luma and then jump on its head. Anyways, in this episode we'll be finishing off this room by doing Hurry Scurry Galaxy first. I know there's still one more in, is it the junk one? Yes, this it's the space junk galaxy, I'm pretty sure. But this one is Shrinking Satellite. Yeah, so this one is about platforms that kind of disappear after you touch them. And I forget what the gimmick is. I think it's... Do you have to get rid of all of them? I don't think so. I don't think that's the gimmick. I, f I forget how this one works. Oh, it's a nerdy toad. Hello, nerdy toad. Then again, if you wear glasses, you're not nerdy. I know lots of people who wear glasses who are really dumb. Oh my god! Gotta be really careful there. Oh no, it's the music note one! Ah, now I remember it. My lord. Did you guys see that? That was like shrinking before I could even move. That was... Oh my god. Do we... we messed up. Yeah, I, I botched that. Another thing about this game is you really don't get a lot of one-ups. A lot of the time the one-ups are just there to, like, you know, protect you. Just in case you di do die in that level. Like that one there, if you keep dying here, you can collect them again. Like, game, let me actually jump there, please. Maybe if I go this way this time. Man, they're starting to disappear before I even get to touch them, which is sad. There we go. And the black hole disappeared and turned into a star. Oh, and they don't randomly stop shrinking. Okay. Nice to know. But we got the star. That's all that matters, is we got the star. Nice. So that didn't go too bad. We died once, but not overly that bad. Still, less than three minutes in and we got that, so that's all that is there is for that galaxy. Also, still no signs of a hungry Luma, eh? Interesting. I believe we only have one more star to do before the boss. Yeah, and it's the space... Oh, Battle Rock also has another one, so we'll go to the space junk galaxy. Oh yeah, because we did the, um... We did the speedy... the speed or speedy comet? Whatever it was. Yeah, the speed run. Anyways, we have Terran Tox's Tangled Web. Yeah, I believe this is a boss. A Wait. Is this a boss again? Or do we not have a boss on this planet? No, this galaxy, I mean. I keep saying planet. There's the virus ball. <laughs> Let me guess, we're going to land on the toad ships again? Because we land here every time because toads are cool? That is essentially what our profile picture is. So instead of bob bombs, we now have tarantulas. Cool. I'm, I'm being sarcastic. All they did was change enemies for spiders. Grab those while I'm zooming by. Um. Um. Game. What are you doing? Oh, there was another pull star. I didn't see that because it blends in with the dark blue. Can you land? Thank you. Sheesh, Mario. I wonder how many we need for this guy. And also, what does he do? Is this the hidden star for here? Is that guy? Maybe. Hello, senor. I would like fitty star biddies. Oh, I was lying when I said 50, by the way. I didn't actually mean it, but apparently he does need 50. So I guess we'll go into this little glass ball place. I don't know. There's a few star bits in here. That's kind of helpful. Not enough to really do anything, so that's fine. Though we can kill this guy for star bits by spinning into him. Remember, if you spin into an enemy, they will give you star bits. Also, we got this. We'll have to come back with more star bits for him, because I'm pretty sure he's the secret star. 
Yeah, now we're getting all the star bits, right? Hey, little moon. That was kind of cute. Oh, great. Tarantulas. I wonder. Oh, wow. So, Goombas are actually more resilient than most enemies, because... Help, I'm stuck. Aim your blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, this one. Goodbye, Toad. Yeah, this is kind of funny, too, because you pull yourself back. Toad, why are you here again? Can I just kill the Toad? That'd be kind of funny if I could just kill the Toad. Fire Mario! Firing Mario phasers. Get out of here, Tarantula. Oop. I thought I accidentally let it go. Oh, there's health over there. I should have grabbed that, but I didn't see that till I was already in here. And I assume you get out by pressing the, um... Uh... Spin button, I'd assume. Oh, God. The way this controller works makes this a little difficult. Anyways, is this the boss? I assume so. Oops, wrong button. I forgot it was A. Anyways, let's fire in. You look nothing like your sibling, sir, or your royal subjects. Ow. You got some venom on you, man. Hey, at least there's health here. Kind of want him to shoot the uh, goop at me, but seems he isn't. Oh wait, this is the boss where we want to hit him in the butt. I forgot about that. Also, why was it only sending me that one direction? Yeah, see, now you use these to hit these red pimple things underneath his belly. Fire! And let's see if we can hit that one. There we go! Is he dead? Okay, no, I'm like, he can't be dead. Though he does give us a lot of star bits. Ooh. Lots of this sludgy stuff now. Okay, we want to get to his back end again. Except Toad here is kind of in the way. And fire in the butt! I wonder if he's like mad that we keep hitting him in the butt though. Too bad you can't hit like two of them at once. That'd be really cool. I completely botched that too. There, I think you have to keep hitting them though to stop him from getting up faster. Anyways, and fire! There he goes, back into the recesses of space you go, Mr. Spider. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. This is like super colorful. Holy cow. Anyways, fire! Star is ours. Thank you. That was actually fun. I love that boss fight. Twenty one. A hungry Luma has appeared outside the fountain. Nice. As long as it's not like that rocky road level again. Anyways, let's Yeah, let's go back and do the secret star because now since we talked to him, we do know that there is a secret star. And can only be found in Terran Tox's Tangled Web. So remember, let's collect 50 star bits. So let's collect all the star bits we can. Starting off with these whole six that we have. And remember, these guys do drop some, so kill them, collect theirs. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. 
Still got those ones, though. Even though I was trying to get his. Like, they only give you three, which is the annoying part, and we have to get 50. We're over halfway, though, so that's good. I'm pretty sure there's some throughout here, though. Probably up here. There we go, there's some more. We still need 14 more, though. That's a little worrisome. Considering we don't really have very many yet. Come on, can you let me down? I always hate that it's like really delayed there with letting you down. It's letting me down by not letting me down. There's gotta be something on this planet I can do. Oh wait, there's a pull star to get back up. So yeah, shouldn't be too bad then. Just don't waste any of the star bits, Mario, please. Oh wait, no, that's just the, um... Ah, uh, whatchacallit. The ones that we broke up top. And I think we now have enough. Yep. Also, a fun fact for those who don't know this about the game, but you lose your lives whenever you close the game. So, once you exit it, you lose those lives. Anyways, let's find the Luma here. And feed you the 50 star bits. Yeah, I already know this. Do I have to go through this again? Also, why did my thing disappear? Is there a faster way to shoot them? Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. It didn't work. For some reason, the controller malfunctioned. Oh, that is a tick off, man. I guess we'll go and do um, this star first. God, that's disappointing. Why did that even happen? I have no idea. Anyways, we have Top Maniac and the Top Mentor. Is this another boss fight, really? I'm not a big fan of these enemies, though. This is actually one of my least favorite, like, um, hub worlds for this game. Just because a lot of the planets are really boring. Also, why did I get... Can you stop sucking me into that one? Thank you. Okay, Monty Mole. Actually, I don't know if those are Monty Mole or the moles from... Um, Mario 3. Wow, this is, this is terrible. I was joking that it was terrifying. Thank you, game. The perception on that was awful. Also, is that a free, th like, boosty mushroom room? Oh, and all you have to do is wait patiently for this? Really? You gotta be kidding me. That's too easy, bruh. Now, I believe for these guys, you have to spin into them. Anyways... Yeah, and you electrocute them and they die. Get me out of here, Mario. Here you go, my brother. Transformation time. Yeah, I think for these guys, what you have to do is you have to shoot them to actually kill them. But I don't think you... Yeah, you didn't actually need to kill him. But whatever. Oh, one of these gravity places. So you hit this, and then it'll switch the gravity around. Pretty cool. Oh, I'm not going to deal with that. I hate those things. Those things just take too long. Can I please get in? Thank you. Aw, oh, man. Man, patience. Patience really is a virtue. Now, flip me around. Yeah, I know how to play the game, dude. I don't know why. You gotta be kidding me. That is true. Did you see that? That was, like, all glitchy. So, yeah, you want to avoid jumping here. So, you just gotta wait for these platforms to lower down enough. 
Oh, I was collecting star bits because my thing was off center. See, so yeah, I want in here so you don't, you know, fall off. Even though there's nothing about saying gravity's changed. Because I thought these arrows were the only ones that would, you know, do anything like that, but apparently not. And we died. And we gotta do the entire level over. Can you stop telling me how to play the game? Like, really? I know how the controllers work, game. You know what? I'm just gonna go down here. And no, lava doesn't insta-kill you, but getting crushed does. Because, logic. Even though in real life, lava would still insta-kill you. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't, I it wasn't that I touched the platform last time. It was the fact that when I jumped there, yeah... Thank you. Now, I guess I'm just going to have to be a little more patient in that one spot that I was not very patient in. Also, can my, like, pointer please come back when I want it to? Okay, there we go. Oh, bouncy! And is that it? Because I'm pretty sure there's still, like, a kind of a boss dude thing we have to fight wow look at this this is so difficult oh here we go we got an elevator this is kind of interesting okay now we just have to kill some top men and that was easy Whoa. That was trippy. Oh, I think we finally blew up the rest of the battle rock. At least it seems like. Now, do I actually have to kill these guys or not? I don't actually know. Oh, he killed himself. That wasn't even me that time. Oh, man, you lived. I don't want you to live. Whoa. Hey there, pal. Nah, I don't need either of your stuff, pal. So where does my freaking cursor keep going? Or pointer, or whatever you want to call it. Thingy to allow me to pick up thingies. Oh, it is a boss. Does he have a face? Oh, there it is. He's got a bunch of little babies. Oh my god. I love how I'm like beating up his children. Also, I do not appreciate that game. No. There we go. Thank God on one health. Maybe we should have grabbed that extra health. Like, holy cow. That was terrifying. <laughs> Anyways, that's out of the way. I wonder if we're done the galaxy. No, which means that there's a uh, a comet. Anyways, before we go to Bowser, Battle Rock now has the Daredevil comet. I guess we have to do this now. My God, every time we go to do something, something else pops up. Now we got the Daredevil comet. I believe these ones are hard. I think. Top Maniac's Daredevil run. Oh, is this the one where you can't take damage? Yeah, this is the one where you can't take damage. And you only have one health, so... Yay. Well, good news is, we pretty much made it to the boss already. Bad news is, is, we took a lot of stupid damage fighting him last time. Though I'm pretty sure we can avoid taking damage. Whoa. Can you little dudes, like, just bugger off? Yeah, just stay away from him.
Can you just... There we go. Jeez, he just wasn't letting me spin into him. Anyways, that Daredevil comet wasn't bad at all. And <laughs> then I accidentally jump into electricity and die like an idiot. Thank you. Yeah, see, there's also a different hue to, the, to everything when it's going on. Kind of trippy balls, right? Like you're on acid. Nice. Now we still have to go and get that secret star. We might not actually be able to do the Bowser level in this one. Because we still have to go to the Space Junk Galaxy and do the secret star. Again. Because when I was feeding it to him, it wasn't counting as us feeding it to him. So let's go to Terran Tox's Tangled Web again. Ooh, wait, was that more star bits than normal? No, it was less than normal. I think. Yeah, it was less than normal. Why? Why did it only give us five instead of six this time? That's disappointing. Okay, spiders. Thank you for your star bits. Once again, that's not what I meant to do. I always mean to spin into them, but it auto-locks onto these crystals. Oh, we almost missed that one. Anyways, that's all for them. Grab all those that we can. Just skip to this one. Skip the dish. There we go. Perfect. Oh yeah, I always forget, you gotta spin to get off that. Though we actually have more this time. Now I believe we want, yeah, we, we want to go right here. And then go around. Uh, literally fight anything. Like all of them. And boom, we're good. Now we can go feed Mr. Mr. Lumi. Mr. Bloomer. Ah, uh, game. Uh, let me out of here. Uh, you don't know who you're messing with. Uh. Yo, Mario, bruh. Give me food, bruh. For star, bruh. Weird. I don't know why you can only do it at that one specific angle. But there we go. We lost all our star bits, but we finally got him to transform. Oh, I don't remember this one. I don't remember doing this on my original playthrough by myself. Also, why is Yoshi's nose breathing fire? Well, these guys also don't drop star bits or anything. So they probably don't drop coins either, right? And that one almost got me. I've taken more damage from Goombas, though, than any other enemy in this game. Which is really sad, considering Goombas are... And then again, their hitboxes have always been tiny in most Mario games, so you do end up hitting yourself on a Goomba once or twice in a playthrough of Mario. Why I have to defeat so many Goombas on a Wood Yoshi head is beyond me, but it is, it is whatever. Boink. Boink. Are you the last one, by chance? Yep, you are. Is that the star? Literally, that's the star. Alrighty then. Can't really say that was hard, but it wasn't very enjoyable either. It's kind of boring, but thank you, game. Now that should be it, because we did also get the prankster comment here. Now that should be everything, right? No, that's still not everything. I am so confused. 
Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Next, excuse me. Next episode, we're taking on Bowser. Bye bye.